So season seven, what can you teach? Uh, well, we only had one day shooting so far, but we, I've already closed two deals, and one of them is already one of my favorites. So there's a deal from Pittsburgh that I'll give that much away that um, had to battle for, but I won, so it's going to be fun. And uh, what has changed the most about Shark Tank, do you think, over the years? Um, the fact that the companies understand how the game is played. Um, when I first came on, companies would stand here on the carpet and just kind of wing it and not really have a sense of what the sharks were all about. And now, you know, people study every episode. You know, they try to get art tells and try to figure out what the sharks are going to do. And they understand how to define valuations and what's expected. So the companies have gotten a lot more sophisticated. And have you found over the years that there are some things that make an entrepreneur more likely to be successful when he enters the Shark Tank? You know, it, I think you can tell by the things they talk about and the things they focus on. You know, some companies will talk about how they were on this TV show or that TV show or this website or that website and all the PR they got and others will talk about how hard they worked at sales, how hard they worked on their product and that's usually an indication that they're here because one, one, one side wants to be on TV and get sales that way and the other one is willing to do the work. And what are some of the trends that you've noticed lately in terms of the businesses that get pitched? Um, well, again, we just had one day so far, so I'm, I'm excited to see what happens because the, the, the good news is the producers, you know, they, they vet all the, all the different deals and they're telling us the deals are going to be bigger, you know, more elaborate, um, just more diverse. Like we had one yesterday that was, you just had to like shake your head. It was just amazing the, the technology they had put together. So, you know, I'm a geek, so more of those is a good thing. And you've had a few guest stars over the years now. Is there a guest star that you'd like to have on the Shark Tank? Um, I'd love to have Warren Buffett on Shark Tank. That would be interesting, but I don't, I don't know that he's, he's, he, he would be up for it. Um, but he actually watches the show, so that's a good thing. I had lunch with him a couple of weeks ago at Dairy Queen, so it was fun to... It's the first step in the right direction. Right, exactly, right. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But, um, so as long as he watches, that's a good sign. And is there a deal that you're still regretting not making? No, because, you know, we do so many. I've closed 45 deals. And so, you know, the other 300, <laughs> I don't have time to think about them. And then finally, if you could talk to yourself at the beginning of your journey with Shark Tank, what would you tell yourself? Oh, my goodness. Um, I came on as a guest shark in season two, and I had no idea. I literally thought, okay, this show's over. You know, it's a business show. It was bouncing Tuesday, Sunday, and then boom. I mean, you know, Mark Burnett says, wait till season three. That's when it takes off, and he was right. And it just it just blew up after that. So I, I had no idea what to expect, and now it's a force of nature. I mean, it's just... You know, but the greatest part about it is, you, you know, when, whenever people stop me and talk about it, it's always about their kids, how, how proud they are that the kids love to watch the show, their 8-year-old, their 10-year-old, their 12-year-old understands business better now, and, the, and parents obviously get excited about that. Now, if I can only get my kids to watch the show, because it's their dad, they see their dad enough, you know.